Welcome to my tutorial on adding text in Procreate. The first thing we're going to do is go to the app Typorama is what I use. And then select... I chose the, I believe, the YouTube thumbnail. And then you just type in your text. Which I put a dream without a plan is just a wish. And then once you go here, you can select your font. Some of them are on the pro version, but a lot are not. So you just go through, pick one you want. If you click on the icon multiple times, it gives you different options, which is what's showing you now. Just a few different option, options you could do. I think I'm getting to the one <laughs> that I want. You can see you have multiple options. I chose this one. Um, I went ahead and saved it next step is going into procreate i just have a folder for tutorials i chose screen size for this one i'm adding the photo sorry it's a little fast and then i'm gonna crop it to take out the logo This was my first time in it, so had to figure it out a little bit. And crop it to resize to the shape I want and get out the logo. And then here we go. So I'm going to adjust it out so that I can see the whole thing. And I am going to take off the background color and then alpha lock it so that I can change the colors. And here you can do what you want, select the brush you want. I went with uh, splatter paint. And if I could get the brush right and select the color right, here we go. A little bit of pink and then a little bit of blue. And a little bit of purple. And a little bit of black to darken it up a little and then I'm gonna change the opacity just to see it a little bit lighter and then I am gonna duplicate to make it black and then layer it down above the top layer and adjust it to make a little bit of a shadow And then add a little different colors in. Just playing with it to get it to where I want it. Add a little splatter flicks to it. Sorry, I had to figure out what I wanted. <laughs> and there we go. Then I decided that I wanted the shadow maybe a different color. I changed it up a little bit. And then I decided that I wanted to change the opacity to make it brighter again because I didn't like it lighter. And then there we go. And then we're going to share it to a PNG and save it. And here's your finished product. Thank you for watching.